this is a dreary looking town. Rainy, wet and miserable. This town looks like it's really down on its luck. This was probably once a busy industrial town, bustling and full of activity. But now the only things bustling are the unemployment queues and casinos full of cheap hookers feeding off redundancy payments. Recreation facilities abandoned, overrun by the drug pushers and street gangs. But look deeper and there's more to this city. Another side to the coin. This is a city that's beginning to heal, beginning to regenerate. New buildings appear, fueled by a new economy, forming an eclectic mix of old and new. Old industries sit side by side with new technology. This is a town that's worth exploring, full of hidden secrets, a surprise around every corner, an incongruous mix of styles and architectures. There's a stoic feel to this place, a determination to move forward and find new opportunities in aerospace, in tourism, a determination to regain the former glories that were once so easily obtained simply by plundering the rich resources buried in the ground. Spending time here puts me in mind of the Franklin Adams poem, A Psalm of Labouring Life. Tell me not in doctored numbers, life is but a name for work, for the labour that encumbers me I wish that I could shirk. Life is phony, life is rotten, and the wealthy have no soul. Why should you be picking cotton? Why should I be mining coal? Not employment and not sorrow is my destined end or way, but to act that each tomorrow find me idler than today. Work is long and plutes are lunching. Money is the thing I crave, but my heart continues punching funeral time clocks to the grave in the world's uneven battle, in the swindle known as life. Be not like the stockyard's cattle, stick your partner with the knife. Trust no boss, however pleasant. Capital is but a curse. Strike, strike in the living present. Fill, oh fill the bulging purse. The lives of strikers all remind us we can make our lives a crime and departing leave behind us bills for double overtime. Charges that perhaps another working for a stingy ten bucks a day. Some mining brother seeing shall walk out again. Let us then be up and striking, discontent with all of it, still undoing, still disliking. Learn to labour and to quit. Music